What's up guys, welcome back to LSJ TV for the first video I've filmed in 2017. So a very happy new year to all of you guys. I'm going to be taking you through a chest workout today and we've got a few different topics to talk about as well. So with that said, let's get on with today's video. Come on. Ah. Right guys, so I've lowered the weight because honestly that first set was painful. So sometimes you've just got to listen to your body and it's better to get some quality reps with a lower weight than push out, force yourself to do a heavier weight just, just, to, <coughs> just to boost your ego. So here we go, I've lowered the weight by five kilos. Each side, hopefully eight quality reps. Much better form, felt much better, was able to feel the stretch in the chest a lot better than I was before as well. So I'm going to stick with this, a couple minutes rest, one more set left. <laughs> so with it being New Year's guys, a lot of you guys watching this are going to have some uh, New Year's resolutions. And one of mine is to stay consistent with my YouTube uploads. Things are going well so far. People liking, commenting, and sharing on every single video. You know who you are, so thank you for that. That is helping, and with my goal with that staying consistent is to double the amount of subscribers I have. I've got 200 at the minute, and I want to finish the year with 400 subs. I want to double the amount I have. That just means staying consistent and keeping the workload up, balancing my social life, my work life, and YouTube all in one go. It's going to be a challenge, a big challenge for me. And so hopefully 2017 can be a good year for this YouTube channel. Right guys, mixing it up a bit today. Normally, well, normally I would do a uh, close grip with the horseshoe bit there. But mixing it up uh, with this wide grip one. Same form applies, keeping those thumbs on top. Taking the forearms and the biceps out of it, allowing you to focus on using the lats properly. Squeeze one, two at the top, controlling on the negative, as always, guys. Those New Year's resolutioners who want to go into the gym, stick to their New Year's resolutions. Don't try and lift too heavy at the start. The gym will be absolutely packed, so don't worry, no one will be looking at you. Just get in there, do your stuff properly. Use good, accurate form, and you should be good. You see results, and then you'll get hooked, trust me. I love to do when it comes to the incline bench is really focus on pause reps. I've done it the last two, three months, maybe a little bit more than that, and I feel that definitely, definitely the pause reps, even if it means lowering the weight, has helped me develop that upper chest a lot more than I did any time before that. In terms of sticking to your New Year's resolutions, guys, you don't want to make them too ambitious. You want to be realistic, fairly specific, 
maybe write, even write them down, and whether that's in your phone, on a notebook, on your laptop, anything, just write them down and keep referring back to them. What I did last year was set specific targets in terms of weight groups, what I wanted to reach on bench, what I wanted to reach on deadlift, all that kind of stuff, even though I don't really deadlift anymore. Start off nice and simple. Build that foundation. Whether that's from just Googling, general beginner's fitness plan, just Google it, there'll be plenty of, plenty of, well, every, there's all things over Instagram, over Twitter, Facebook, everything, YouTube, the lot. Just pick something and then stick to it. Don't try it for two weeks, don't try for, don't even try for a month. You need to give it two, three, maybe even more, six months. Stick to it, commit to it, be consistent, then you'll start to see some results. Stick to that and then if you start to, start to hit a plateau, then that's when you want to start switching it up, maybe change your macro. Little tweaks, get to know your body, listen to your body, and then you'll, you'll make some progress. Moving on, two, three sets of cable flies. This is my favorite exercise, purely because I feel that you can get the best stretch and the best pump in the chest from this exercise. I'm not saying that's a scientific fact, that's just the way I feel. Everybody is going to have exercises that they prefer. Their favorite exercises are going to be different to what other people think, different to what other people feel. But here we go, moving on to three sets of cable flies. I like to pull it down instead of putting it all the weight on my shoulder when I bring it out. I like to step out, steady myself with one foot in front of the other. Depends again, personal preference as to which foot you put in front. You can do them both equal, but I just find this to be more stable. So three sets, here we go. Squeezing one, two. Controlling, coming back to just before the shoulder. Because I feel personally, I have quite tight shoulders, not great shoulder mobility. So if I bring it back too far, I tend to get a bit more strain on my shoulders. Don't feel it as much in the chest. Sixty second rest, then two more sets to go. Another New Year's resolution, guys, is to paint that friggin' door. It's been bugging me every single time I edit a video. I can see it in the background at some point, and uh, it sends my OCD crazy. So, uh, with the rest of the gym being in quite good nick, quite nice equipment, all that kind of stuff, that's the one thing that's to do to time the place up. resolutions keep those new year's resolutions nice and simple guys and people tend to do better when they stick to one thing whether it's going for a run twice a week just eating healthy meals uh, just for a certain period of time seeing how that affects your body how that affects your how that affects you mentally and how you feel physically as well just so start small don't pick too many things that's a mistake that people make I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that I'm gonna learn to do this I'm gonna learn new language I'm gonna do everything, I'm gonna travel the world just because it's a new year. But actually, focus on something that's achievable, focus on something very specific, work hard at it, stay consistent, and that's how you're gonna see results. Next exercise is rear delt fly, so what I'm gonna do, move this down a couple, just so it's level, just about with my shoulder. Obviously lower the weight, because I'm not even putting anything on there, just to really focus on that form, get that squeeze and that contraction in the rear delt. Next exercise guys, second to last exercise of the day, some tricep push down with the rope, you can do this with a bar, a straight bar, a V-bar, anything, but I prefer to do it with the rope, just personal preference. I like to get steady, feet shoulder width apart, keep those elbows nice and tight, into the hips, and go into the movement. I like to pause at the bottom just to get myself set, then come up just past 90 with the elbows and the wrists. Again, keeping those elbows nice and locked to the side, then finish off the set with good form. Another thing guys, as we go into the new year, it's just been Christmas, so I actually got a few different gifts from family members and all that kind of stuff. So I've got some Gymshark, some Alphalete. If you haven't seen my latest video as well, my Alphalete Joggers review, check that out, the link will be in the description box for you guys. Also, stay tuned for a review on these shoes as well. 
Pursue Fitness. Stay tuned, there's going to be a few surprises throughout this year guys, so stay tuned, keep your eyes peeled, enjoy the videos guys. slightly different with my hands supinated rather than having a neutral grip and doing a twist as you're doing the movement. That is because one of my New Year's resolutions is to work on the peak of my bicep because actually I tend to have better thickness in my bicep than I do peak. And that is, I don't know why, it's just how I am, it's just how I'm, it's just how, it's just how my body's made, I can't help it. That's the thing about bodybuilding, you're, you're given a blueprint and you just have to work with it, that's basically what your body says. It says this is what you are. Do your best with what you got sort of thing and that's what you're going to love, you're going to love the journey and you've got to build up your weak points and that's exactly what I'm doing with my biceps here. It's actually if you look at it, get a close up there you can see it's relatively thick in terms of its width but if I do this, where you get the front double bicep pose, the back double bicep, it's not actually that impressive and so I'm hoping that if I do a shot like this now and a shot at the end of the year and my bicep peak will be a lot better because of those supinated bicep curls. So that is it, that is concluding today's video guys. Thanks a lot for watching if you made it this far. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe, because as we're coming into the new year, remember my new year's resolution, 400 subscribers to double what we have. And with you liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to all you new people watching, we're gonna do that together with your help guys. So as I said before, happy new year to all of you guys. I'm wishing you a healthy and happy 2017. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Remember to look out for my reviews, my Alphalete Jogger review, Alphalete T-shirt, Gymshark, all that kind of stuff coming guys in the new year. Don't forget these shoes as well guys. So thanks a lot for watching. If you made it this far, as always remember, no regrets. And I'll see you guys in the next video.